Today is an amazing day for Edmonton. We are reopening the Queen Elizabeth Planetarium, which closed about 40 years ago. It opened in 1960 as Canada's first public planetarium, and so it's a great day for Edmonton to have access to this incredible building again. It's almost overwhelming. <laughs> it's uh, it's wonderful to be, to be here because uh, this, this building could have been demolished very easily. Uh, some people might have thought it was past its due date. But the visionaries who looked ahead realized that uh, this is an important historical uh, heritage building in terms of its architecture and in, and in terms of its purpose too. It was, to me, a, a new concept uh, and it was uh, rather remarkable that uh, they put this building up here for the people of the, of the city and surrounding area to see. Uh, it was um, pretty educational. Particularly with its size, its small size, it's going to be perfect for education for very young children, as young as two, believe it or not. And when they get exposed to the night sky and see the sun and the moon and dance around, and the programs are just wonderful. So I want to see that happen here. It'd be a great legacy. It has all of the modern pieces that we need to have in our buildings today, so it does have an accessible lift, um, which means that all of our community members can come and see the dome. Um, but the dome is sort of the magic in the building. That's the heart of the space. And you walk into there and you understand how a generation of Edmontonians became inspired to explore the world in the night sky.